everybody! It's Vertical Sandwich! Uh, we're, we're in Act 4 of the Cloning Chamber. Uh, okay, so, um, let's return to game, and I have... There are, like, two possibilities. Uh, I think this the toy box... probably useful somewhere, but that's not it. Fine. Nah, I'd better keep this in case I forget what the Devil's Toy Box looks like. Aha! Uh -huh. Instant demonic spell. Pretty sneaky, Stinky. And since Grandpa Stinky thought he'd made her, he changed his will so that she'd get the diner if anything happened to him. Okay! Sim, Sim, Salabim. Here we go! What? The Devil's Toy Box? How can this be? The Devil's Toy Box? He's that dumb? They said the toy box had been destroyed. Yeah, well, they say a lot of things. Talking clone? Oh, now I see. You have come to make things difficult for me again. Yes, Sam? You might as well give up, Skunk Ape. Once Stinky's done with you, you'll be tossed out like yesterday's bacon fat. Yeah. Nonsense. She has been madly in love with me from the moment she saw me. Animal magnetism like this. You can't just turn it off, you know? How do you think I feel? You're under arrest! Turn yourself in, Skunk Ape. Don't make things any harder on yourself. Since coming to this dreadful planet, I've been pulled through rock, shot at, imprisoned for decades, attacked by mole men, pummeled by clones, and shot at by an overzealous pulp detective. How could things possibly get harder? Uh, you could do it without the hints turned on? Hand over that toy robot, and I'll think about turning the toy box over to you. <laughs> You're hardly in a position to make demands, Sam. Why should I turn over this toy instead of simply taking what I want? Oh! Because I'll give you all the money I have in freelance police petty cash. Such a pitiful amount would barely pay for one of my chest waxing sessions. Okay. Because it's the right thing to do. Then I'll take my riches as ruler of the universe and donate them to cover my carbon offset. Because that robot is the only thing that can save my not so little buddy. You Earthlings' dependence on emotion will be your downfall. Well, that and my disintegrator beams. Okay, so. For my gun? Because I'll shoot you full of lead if you don't. <laughs> Sam, your earth bullets bounce off my hide like the gentle caress of a refreshing spring rain. But please, do your worst. Well, this is awkward. I seem to have left my gun in my other pants. Because if you don't, I'll blow up the toy box once and for all. Yeah, you wouldn't dare. The explosion would destroy you, along with half the city. I'd destroy half of any city to save my best pal. Besides, I'm using a loner body. You're serious? I'm just crazy enough to do it. No, here! Take the robot. Just keep that bomb away from the toy box. There! Antimatter bomb disabled. Containment protocols canceled. What is he doing? Now I better get this robot into Max's brain before Skunk Ape realizes he's been flamboozled. How, though? Can I just do this? Only minutes left to save Max. I've got to get this robot to Sybil and Dr. Norrington. I can't leave this body now. It's the one holding the robot. Okay. Fine then. You got everything under control here, Flint? Ah, oh, this is as easy as picking lice from a hobo's. Did you hear that? Again with the hobos. 
What's his problem? Don't kill that one, Flint. That's Grandpa Stinky. No problem, Sam. Things are going on, I guess. I don't... How are we going to do any of this, though? We're going to... I mean, we're still... Like, they're inside Max, and we're out here, and things are going on and stuff. Sam to rescue team. Sam to rescue team. Robot acquired. Eat me. Over. Roger that. Oh, okay. That works. Okay. Hey, I got that robot and All right. Uh, Skunk Ape must have put it back together himself. Watch that trigger. Once we blast away that dark matter, we should have enough time to remove the Uh-oh. I think my water just broke. Nobody cares! Pennies? Sam, we've got to get out of here. Now! But Max is... There is no way I'm having this baby inside a horrible monster! That horrible monster is my best friend, and we're running out of time to save him. What do we do? Save Sybil! Save Sybil. 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 My friend, the most wondrous thing has happened. It hasn't happened yet, and it's not going to unless we move. What? Oh yes, the baby. Whatever. No, my friend, the wondrous thing is that Max has actually committed a selfless act. Ah, uh, who's this guy? He's the personification of Max's superego. Ah, makes sense. That means he's more than just pure id. He's capable of self-sacrifice. I've made a terrible mistake. Max is worth saving after all. Told you so. Go, save Sybil. I will stay here and remove this wretched tumor. But how do we get out of here in time? Huh? No doubt there's something in here you've overlooked. Any ideas how we can get out of here? None that aren't unspeakably unsanitary, I'm afraid. Oh, uh, uh, breathe, breathe, Sybil. Do you need any water? Or hot towels? Or a complimentary mint? I need for you to get me out of this monster! Oh, be quiet, Sybil. <laughs> it's clearly this, but... Oh, tear duct. Ha ha ha, it looked like ductwork. All right, let's, let's just try this to do this. There's no time to go wandering ah. around. It's the perfect time to go wandering around. Are you sure you're qualified to remove Max's tumor? Sam, I narrated the entire series of brain surgery for brain deficiency on VHS. Of course I know what I'm doing. Because he's a narrator and also... Oh, what? Lack of logic in game. Oh, wait, we don't care. Why does Max have tear ducts? I can't remember the last time I saw him cry. Well, except when he was trying to lull his prey into a false sense of security. It won't do any good unless Max is crying, though. Okay, so. Here we go. <laughs> I 
Knut's luck was 13, and his body was going through a strange transformation. No. You know what? Professor Robert von Ungwen flashed his ID card at the receptionist of the National Institute of Historical Science. The Professor von Ungwen? hissed the receptionist. World famous expert in pre industrial farming implements? Thank God you've come! Suddenly, in walked Dr. Daniel Delinement, head of the Institute's Ancient Mysteries Department. Robert, you may be my arch rival and nemesis, but only you can crack the code of the cotton gin. Okay! Zack ran down the hallway. The vision's coming fast and furious now. A dumbwaiter spraying torrents of pus. An ocelot wearing lederhosen. A beautiful red-haired woman gets a paper cut on her thumb. But when she tries to use the spray antiseptic, the bottle starts screaming at her in Tagalog! Whatever the visions meant, one thing was clear. Something very strange had happened in room 415. Take that, Stephen King. Okay, so, uh... I'm just doing this to get the dialogue out. I just because I think it's funny. You've got to help me, Flint Paper! She screamed hysterically, sneezing into a frilly handkerchief while thinking about shoes and decorating. My father, the professor, has been kidnapped. If you don't find him and fast, then the Belgians will get the plans for the mega neutron bomb. Flint Paper spit out his schnapps in surprise. Mega neutron bomb. Even I can't handle something that big. For this, I'll need to call in the big guns. My best friend, Max. Not so much, huh? Okay. Kinich looked, glanced back to see his igloo engulfed in flames. The muffled screams of the Zebulon invasion force still barely audible over the intermittent explosions of propane tanks. As he held the Eye of Zinthar aloft and watched the sunlight reflected off the sparkling souls trapped inside, Kinich looked realized he had become a man. He plunged the Sword of Judgment into the still twitching body of a Zebulon drone. Today has been a good day, thought Kinich. Look. What is that? What was. That was the most random stuff. Alright, I think that means he's crying. This tear duct should be big enough to fit all of us, even Sybil. Man, I cannot get over how huge she is. All right, everybody, let's load up and make a quick getaway. Good luck, Max's superego. We're all counting on you. Don't worry, Sam. I'll have Max back to his normal, impetuous, wonderful self in five minutes. Just go and hurry. Sam, you have to get out now. The Maintrons will impact in four minutes. Alright, well this clearly is the only thing we can do.